<laughs> Somebody. He shreked his way through that door. I love it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kimchika's Cafe. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. Today we've got a first impression of How to Say Goodbye. This demo was made available during the Steam Next Fest, and uh, it's probably not still available, but it might be. So if you're interested in this game, please do check out their Steam page and um, see if you can try it for yourself. But if not, it's totally fine because we'll be playing it right now. So let's hop into the game. <laughs> I, I like how whimsical this music is. Um, this game is still under development. Let's start that demo. Um, for a little bit of context, this game does deal with and address grief and folks that you care about who may pass, have passed away, death, um, but not in a really like graphic sense. This is just a game about processing that. And so I think um, if that's something that you'd like to enjoy right now and like go through with me, great. If you're like, this is too much because it's maybe hits close to home for some reason, totally fine. Just wanted to provide that heads up in case uh, it's not something you wanted to dive into. Um... Oh, that's cool. Uh, so it looks like we are moving the rows and columns of these tiles. There's been a car accident, and this seems like we're, we are not of this plane, of this earthly plane anymore. Um, let's match the shapes. We got a door. Got a circle. And we've got our character. Okay, so it looks like maybe this is us. We were in a car accident, it looks like, and we're trying to help this character get through to the, like, afterlife, maybe? On a warm spring morning, Sendak died. Waking up, Sendak found themselves somewhere they remembered from a long time ago. Sendak recognized this place. This is where they went camping with Tomi their beloved brother. It was the last time they ever saw each other. Now that I'm dead too, maybe I get to spend time with my brother again, thought Sendak. Sendak eagerly started searching for their brother Tomi. Hey. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a shiny. Hello? Sendak remembered the old tent they used to share with their brother. It had a musty smell. Oh, but he's not here. All right, let's see if we can let's see if we can find him. Tommy. This is ah. Did I find you? <laughs> I love the like eyes. Uh, excuse me. Have, oh, it's not Tommy. Have you seen my? Shh. Whispered the little ghost. I've noticed bad spirits in the forest. You should be wary. Oh. Ooh. All right, so we'll have to maybe be careful about any bad spirits that we may come across. Ah! <laughs> we have to... Ah! Oh, it's raining. Okay, my, my, my little brain <laughs> needs to now think about the puzzle part of this. So that's going to be fun. So I think a lot of this is going to be manipulating objects, knowing that once you move a slide of the tile, you might be shifting it over as well. Okay. That's, that's really cool. What awesome design. All right. I'm ready. Bring on the next puzzle. Okay. Are you here, Tomi? Sendak was looking everywhere, trying to find their brother. Okay, so there's a button, I assume, brings it down. Womp womp. I had a feeling it wouldn't be that easy. Can we just like... We can just pull it to... Nope, nope. We gotta put it to the side. <laughs> Sendak found a key. Good job, Sendak. I'm so proud of you. Sendak used a key to unlock the door. I love the rain. I love rain in, in any game or media. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me... 
Cool. So windmills will lower platforms so that we can use them. Sendak started to wonder if Tomi had forgotten about them. Oh, wait! Is that Tomi? Hold on. Maybe not. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a bad ghost. Uh, okay, we need to get to the button. Oop. Sometimes clicking this around with the mouse gets a little bit wonky. Okay, and then we can move this over. Because sometimes when I drag the mouse down, it goes below the... Whoa! Below the screen. Wait. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me nervous, but it does. Alright, we got it. We found a key. Yeah, I have a feeling this this right here is maybe one of the bad ghosties that the other spirit was warning us about. Yep, look at it. Okay, we can looks like we can talk to it because it's got sparklies. The strange ghost looked at Sendak and whispered, Ah, I knew I sensed despair around here. Sendak felt a wave of wave of unease and helplessness wash over them. You're about to join us spleens, it seems, uttered the strange ghost. You won't be disappointed. You won't feel anything anymore. You might not even be anything anymore. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> brother! <laughs> Suddenly, Sendak's older brother, Tommy, Kool-Aid man's right in. There you are, Sendak. I knew that even passing away, you'd need your big bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. Somebody. He shreked his way through that door. I love it. All right. Oh, now I can control Big Brother. All right. Step on that button. Here we go. Oop. Oh, we got a little little bit of maneuver in here. Fancy footwork. That's cute. Sendak was so... Oh, what a fun color palette. Sendak was so relieved to have found their big brother. Now we can go camping and have fun until the end of time, they thought. All right, camping, camping. All right, so we've got a button and we've got another button. So we're gonna have to get you here and then you here. Ah, nice and easy, I love it. Okay, Everspleen Resort. Everspleen, don't we, we don't want Everspleen, right? Oh my gosh, I love how this is the airport terminal for, uh, for spirits. <laughs> okay, so let's bring brother and key out here. Or actually, we don't even need to bring brother. Oh, wait, nope. One up, and then we can go bring that over. Oh, and we can talk to one of these folks. Come to the Everspleen Resort, where ghosts come to play forever! Sendak thought this might be a great place to visit with their brother. But Tommy said the place looked really lame. Oh, well, okay, I guess. Sendak used a key and opened up the path ahead. <laughs> I like hearing the airport. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, how how we get how we get you up here? And how do we get you up? There we go. Nice. Okay. After losing you all these years ago, we finally get to make new memories again, said Sandak. Remember when we went to take the plane for the first time? We were so excited. Tommy nodded, nodded quietly. Okay. Why do I feel like you have bad news for me? Tommy's not as excited about any of this. Uh, okay, there's two buttons, so I might need to two, two two spirits on on the buttons like so. Yes, and then I can move the key over, and then Tommy can pick it. Tommy, Tommy, and you can go here. Oh. There we go. Send back use a key to unlock the door. Beautiful. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Okay, so you can grab this key. Send back found a key. He'll unlock that. Open the path ahead. 
Okay, so we'll want to move all of these out of the way. <laughs> the air. Okay, and then bring you up. Oh, nope, up, up. Oh, send back, use a key. Cool. All right, airport terminals are long. This does sound very familiar. <laughs> I think it's probably Tommy instead of Tommy. Tommy looked lovingly at Sendak and sighed. What's wrong? asked Sendak. Did we forget to pack something? Tommy explains to his little sibling that it's time for Sendak to go their own way. I knew you need a bit of help from your big brother, but you have to do this yourself. Oh. Wait. You can only help me at the start of the journey? I've left a long time ago, said Tommy. I'm happy you're thinking of me, but you have to move on now. No! I love you, little buddy. And so Tommy faded away. Oh. Oh. Sendak felt lost without Tommy's guidance. I'm not as tough as my brother, they thought. How could I move on by myself? Sendak's melancholy was so strong, it started to attack the attention of the spleens. Okay. Sendak was desperate. All they wanted was to be with their brother one last time. All they wanted was something that was impossible. I mean, maybe not impossible. We don't know. Sendak found a key. Okay, so we're back out into the, the wild mountains. Ah! No! No, no, no! Why move on when you can just join us, suggested the spleen. If you forget what you're looking for, you don't have to look anymore. No, I, I don't like that. What's keeping you from giving up, Sendak, asked the spleen. Because I love my brother. And I want to, uh, uh, there's more to life than this melancholy that you're pr proposing. Okay, oh shoot, we need to step back on the button. Button, button, who's got the button? Okay, so we'll move that up here. Sendak found a key. I like the way that this is, this level's progressively moving. To, to the right, to the right. Um, okay, so we'll need to step on the button. Same like last time, because I see the key over yonder. Ooh. Ooh, and I see a windmill. Okay. Oh, whoops. I should have not have put the key right there. Okay. I don't know if I should go on the top or the bottom. Oh, I don't think I can go over the bottom. Okay, so let's go this way. How do I... Ooh. Okay. And that's because we can only go in one direction without maybe putting, putting this up. Although I guess I didn't need to go down there. Maybe it didn't matter. Oh, there we are. Attracted to Sendak's melancholy, the spleens tried to convince Sendak to just... Stop caring. No! <gasps> that nab at the door broke! Oh god. Okay. No! Aww. I want to know what happened next. Thank you for playing our demo. We hope that you've enjoyed the experience and want to see more of the game. Don't forget to wishlist. It helps out a lot. Florian and Baptiste. Oh, I wonder if they're brothers. Maybe, maybe not. Um, is there anything else? Nope, it takes us back to the title screen. Wow, that was so beautiful. <laughs> um, I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I hadn't seen this game prior to the Steam Fest, and so when I saw this pop up, I was like, huh, looks like an interesting puzzle game. Um, but I didn't know, I didn't intentionally, you know, I intentionally didn't really dive into the story. I just kind of went into it fresh. 
and I think this game is going to be something really special. Uh, excited to see how the tile sliding mechanic progresses. I liked how you got to see uh, not only the button sort of lever action happening, but also like spinning in a certain way lowers platforms. So excited to see how that continues to evolve and really looking forward to the story. Um, I think it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be a crier, y'all. I have a feeling uh, by the end of it, it'll, it'll cause some tears, but I think, uh, I think kind of like Spiritfarer and A Mortician's Tale and a few other games that in recent years have addressed the topic of death in a really gentle manner, I think this is going to be following in a similar vein. So if this is a game that you feel like would be restorative for you to play, if you think for someone else it would be good for them to play, or if you're just like, hey, this is just something that's part of the human experience and it's like something I want to play because I want to reflect on it, just think about it for a little bit. Uh, I highly recommend it. So uh, do wish this the game. Again, if you have not seen it, it is on this on Steam for sure. Um, oh, here I'll exit on that. There we go. Uh, it's on Steam, so you can wishlist it there. You can see some samples and screenshots of additional areas that we will encounter as Sendak. Um, yeah, and also this just, this looks really good. The color palette is just so nice. Um, yeah, and if you liked this video, if you would like to keep watching and learning about indie games like this and more in a wide variety of genres of indie game, do hit that follow button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoy games that do deal with like heavier topics like this, um, or if you tend to avoid them. I have friends who started Spiritfarer, for example, and then said, you know, I couldn't play it because it was too much. Even though it was gentle, it was too much for me, and I was not ready to, to play a game that addressed death in this manner. And so I think it is something that each person has to come into and like learn for themselves where their comfort level is. Um, I'm curious if if you have any, any thoughts on that. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, that you're finding lots of indie games to enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!